understanding capital budgeting part one discounted cash flows. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our email address and our phone number. A very good source for videos, particularly PowerPoints on these topics, is to go to the publisher McGraw Hill Irwin. They have some great information, part of which was used for this presentation. So this capital uh, budgeting situation is a fancy way of saying think before you spend. We all think about things before we make a big purchase. Think about pros and cons and you do the same thing when you're thinking about making a big purchase in your business. And capital budgeting is defined as a financial evaluation of project proposals. There are concepts that we use to look at these proposals to decide whether we're going to accept them or reject them. And that evaluation is really based on two questions. What will it cost now? How much is the check I have to write? And how will I benefit? The whole reason I'm doing this is, is that somehow this spending will create some kind of benefit in the future. The benefit in the future is I'll be more profitable. And if I'm more profitable, I'll generate more cash. But the challenge is, is that that benefit, that additional cash, is going to come in over a period of years. And since that cash is coming in over a period of years, those dollars will not buy the same amount of goods four, five, ten years from now. And that's because of something called inflation. And the textbook definition is the overall increase in retail prices over time, and I've always used the grocery cart example to explain it. Imagine that you go to the grocery cart every week and you put in items that you use up every week. Milk, bread, sugar, soap, paper towels. And every week you buy the same basket of goods. And what you find is, is that the goods that you buy in January cost more in December. Or said another way, the same amount of cash buys fewer goods over time because of inflation. The value of your dollars is worth less. Well, let's tie that into the cash your business is generating. More profit and more cash because of this purchase you make. Those dollars years into the future, when you consider them in your analysis, are worth less if you look at them in today's dollars because of inflation. And specifically, the buying power of that one dollar declines over time. So the last bullet point, the result is future dollars are worth less which means that it takes more dollars to buy the same amount of goods. You can look at it as two sides of a coin. So when we consider cash flows in our analysis, we have to discount them. Now think about Levi Strauss, it's a maker of blue jeans. You're the manager of the factory, and you decide that you're going to buy a new sewing machine to sew jeans. You're going to be able to work faster, be more profitable, and therefore that sewing machine is going to generate more cash for you. So the outflow is you've got to write a check to purchase some mach machinery. The inflow is the cash coming in the door over a period of years, that's your revenue in the form of cash coming in the door. So you've got cash out and cash in. And that term discounted means that we're going to use some sort of interest rate. I'm going to use interest rate for now. There's some other rates that we use later on. And that interest rate is going to be used to reduce the future value, to reduce the value of the dollars you get in future years so you can have an apples to apples comparison. You're going to look at the dollars received four years out, five years out, ten years out in today's dollars as if you had them today. So you're comparing the check that you're writing with all those future cash flows coming in the door in today's dollars. That's the end of part one of our capital budgeting assessment. You'll find part two on YouTube, which includes the beginning of a spreadsheet analysis. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, all one word. We have a complete list of all the videos on that channel on our website. You'll see it at the third bullet point. For live tutoring and live chat sessions using gotomeeting.com, stltest.net is the website. Here's my email address and my phone number, and we'll see you next time.